So what do you need to get started with iOS programming? Well, all you really need is a Mac and the will to learn. So I realized that a Mac is kind of a hefty investment. And if you don't want to spend a grand for a MacBook, you can actually spend $500 to buy a Mac Mini. Or better yet, you can get a used Mac Mini off of you know eBay or Kijiji for $200 or $300 and that'll do fine. So once you have your Mac, um, then you're going to download Xcode. Now a lot of people get confused, you know, what is Xcode and what is Objective-C? Xcode is the app on your Mac which you're going to write your code in. Objective-C is the programming language that you need to learn in order to write your code. So in short, you need to learn Objective-C because you need to know, how, you know what to write, how to code, and then you need to know how to use Xcode as an application just like Photoshop or any other application on your computer. You need to know how to navigate around the app and where all the menus are and, and stuff like that. But Objective-C really is the programming language that you will be using to build your iPhone apps. All right, so let's just dive in and create a brand new Xcode project and see how that works. Okay, so if you haven't gotten Xcode for your Mac already, you can just go to the Mac App Store and you can search for Xcode and you'll be able to download it for free. Keep in mind it's a pretty hefty download at 1.65 gigs so it you might have to wait a little while until you get it. Okay so once you've got Xcode downloaded from the Mac App Store you can go ahead and launch it and you're probably gonna get this pop-up as well welcome to Xcode. You can go ahead and create a new project by clicking this button if you don't get this welcome screen you can always go up to file um, new and create a new project you'll arrive at the same screen here so you want to make sure that on the left hand side under this menu you want to select application from under the iOS heading because that's the operating system we're developing for and you want to create a single view application um, which is just going to be the blank application that we're going to create right now so go next and you probably won't have the organization name and company identifier filled in but um, for right now you can fill in anything you want there I'm just gonna type in blank demo and hit next and then save it somewhere I would recommend that you create uh, a folder for all of your Xcode projects and just to keep things organized so go ahead and create it now all I want you to do is go up into the upper left hand corner and hit run. And what happens is that Xcode is going to compile your project and then it's going to open the iPhone simulator and run your application on it. Now this is why you don't even need a device to start building iPhone apps because Xcode comes with a great um, iPhone simulator and you can run your applications, you can use GPS and you can, you know, you can do shake and you know any any sort of gestures and stuff that you'd want to do you can also choose a different iPhone so they have uh, this this one's the iPhone 5 and then this one's like the 4s the retina 3 point you can even do iPad simulator if you're gonna build an iPad application now don't be alarmed if the simulator that popped up on your screen doesn't look like this because there are different sizes that you can do so you see I can change the size and some of them wouldn't uh, don't have the frame so as you can see it's a blank screen because we haven't added any code to our application yet it's just showing the default view that the default Xcode project has when you create a brand new project hit stop here to stop running the application in the simulator so there you have it you've compiled and you've run your first iPhone application and although uh, it's not much we haven't added anything to it that's generally the process we're gonna edit these files we're gonna add code and then we're going to test our application on the simulator as we go along and once we have it done and we've got the app the way we want it we can actually deploy it onto a real phone and that's when it gets really exciting because you can start to show your application to people you can bring your phone around so stick around and I'll show you guys how to add things on the screen and handle user interaction